everybody. Hello. This is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Beatles News Briefs, your home for all the Beatles news you need to know and the best talk from the Beatles world. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci. We have a full show of the latest Beatles news today, so let's get straight to it. Ringo Starr performed at Bethel Woods on Friday night with his all-star band. After the show, he tweeted, Thank you, thank you, Bethel Woods. What a great time when there was a lot of peace and love around tonight. Love, love. Uh, Some sad news. Uh, Peter Fonda passed away Friday night at the age of 79 from lung cancer. Fonda is known, of course, for his starring roles in Easy Rider, Wild Angels, and other counterculture films. But he also played a role in the creation of one of the Beatles songs, which is She Said, She She Said. He said it happened during an acid trip when he was trying to help George Harrison, who thought he was dying. It's true. Um, we were all in an altered state, except for Paul. I was with Crosby and McGuire for the last. And George was having a very tough time. He was scared. He thought he was dying. So they elected me in my altered state to go down and try to cool out George. And I said, George, this is what it's supposed to do. Your brain doesn't want to let go. But you're supposed to let it all go. And don't worry about it. I know what it's like to be dead. I said that to him several times. I said, I shot myself. I asked when I was a little boy. Everything was all right. It just was an accident. So, you know, when I was a boy, everything was right. She said, I know what it's like to be dead. And um, I did. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of neat to be part of a Beatles song. Patty Boyd has a new photo book coming out. It's called Patty Boyd, My Life Through a Lens. The description of the book says, Boyd offers candid candid and intimate photographs of rock royalty and the elite social circles of the 60s and 70s, and also shares the drawings, paintings, and mementos collected from a life shared with pop culture icons. Alongside it all are Boyd's own stirring reflections, giving a look into the golden age of rock and roll that only a woman at the center of it could all provide. And the movie yesterday, which we talked about a couple of shows back, and which you can hear uh, uh, on our YouTube channel or on iTunes, uh, uh, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcast, is coming on uh, video on digital September 10th and DVD and Blu-ray on September 24th. The disc will have a, an incredible list of bonus features. Here's a partial look at some of them. It'll have an alternate opening and alternate ending, deleted scenes, of course, a director-writer commentary, a Live at Abbey Road Sessions segment with actor Hymish Patel performing yesterday, I Want to Hold Your Hand and Let It Be, playing for real on the reinterpretation of the Beatles songs for the movie, and featurettes on Ed Sheeran and Kate McKinnon. The Amazon links for both uh, yesterday and the Patty Boyd book are on our That's What I Want Beatles store page and also on our Beatles news and commentary uh, page. There's a a new Beatles album on Spotify. It's called Something. And yes, it's the 2019 mix, the studio demo, and the instrumental mix from the new box set. So if you haven't heard them, you can hear them there, and you don't need a membership. And in the rumors department, to guess if it's actually legitimate or not, Amazon Italy has a listing for a new Beatles singles box set. There's no information on the listing and no release date on it. We'll be right back with chart news, a look back in history, and what you can find out there streaming. And now the latest Beatles chart news for the Billboard dated August 17th. Beatles 1 is at 74, down from 71 last week. Abbey Road is at 92, down from 90, and the White Album is at 168, up from 198. On the vinyl chart, Abbey Road is at 8, up from 9 last week, and on the Artist 200, the Beatles are at 41, up from 52. In the UK, on officialcharts.com, which was just posted uh, this weekend for August 16th, The Beatles' one album is at 24, uh, same as last week. 67 to 70 is at 89, up from 97. And Abbey Road has returned to the chart at 95. 
Looking back in history on August 17, 1960, the Beatles arrived in Hamburg. Uh, their contract called for them to play four to six sets a night. On August 18, 1962, Ringo Starr joined the Beatles. On August 19th, the group with Ringo played their first Cavern gig, and also on that bill were the Swinging Blue Jeans and Peppy and the New York Twisters. August 19th, 1964, the Beatles began their first American tour at the Cow Palace in San Francisco, which is still standing, by the way. Uh, August 19th, 1967, Ringo and Maureen welcomed their second son, Jason, and also All You Need Is Love hit the top of the U.S. charts. On August 20th, 1969, the Beatles recorded I Want You, She's So Heavy. It was the final time the group as a foursome were at Abbey Road Studios together. Happy birthday on August 19th to Billy J. Kramer. And here's some of what's streaming. Uh, Good Old Frida is on Hulu. Nowhere Boys on Netflix. The U.S. vs. John Lennon is streaming free on IMDb TV and free with ads on Voodoo, Tubi, and Pluto TV. Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years is on Hulu. Looking for Lennon is on Amazon Prime. Above Us Only Sky is on Netflix. George Harrison Living in the Material World is on Netflix. And free with ads on Tubi. And Lennon Naked is on BritBox. The Last Waltz is on Amazon Prime. Candy and Strange Fruit, The Beatles on Apple Records. Both can be streamed free with ads on Tubi. The Beatles 1 is on Amazon Prime, and Caveman is also free with ads on Vudu. And a comment from the mailbag, Juan Marte wanted to know why the 1969 version of Ain't She Sweet is not on the new Abbey Road set. And the answer is that it will be probably contained with the box set that comes out or next year, assuming there is a box set, and I would guess that you can probably suspect that there will be, um, released with the remastered and redone Peter Jackson version of Let It Be. So there's the answer to that. Thanks for writing, one. And if you have a comment, please feel free to leave a comment on our YouTube page. Or write us at BeatlesNewsBriefs at gmail.com and we may answer your question in an upcoming show. That's it for now. You can catch our shows on Fab4Radio.com, Beatlesarama, and also on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please join our Beatles News and Information Group on Facebook for the latest in the Beatles world. And check out our That's What I Want Beatles Store page on Facebook for gift ideas for yourself or your favorite people, and where you can also find links for both Candy Leonard's Beatleness and my Meet a Monkey Davy Jones book, and also the uh, Yesterday DVD and the Patty Boyd book that we talked about in the show. Um, And look for our next show, and please subscribe, and please rate us on iTunes. We will be looking for you next time. Until then, this is Steve Marinucci saying... Be seeing you. that one market fab <laughs> <laughs>